Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my nail channel y'all. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber, part of the family here. Um, I'm so excited to do another nail video. I've been having these McCart Poly Gel nail kits uh, sitting here waiting for me to use them, but I've been busy doing my nails, as you could see, with their other polish collection. I recently did a video using these videos, and I will link it down in the description box below, on my main channel using these colors. And basically, it's these on my fingers, but we did some press-on nails, also using McCart nails so um yeah i'll link it down below in case you guys want to see how i created these beautiful nails and yeah but today we're going to be doing a we're going to be doing something with these and i'm actually going to use this one right here but first i want to show you guys what this one looks like so it's two holiday kits that they came out with poly gel kits and this is the blushed one and this is the snatched one so let me show you really quick what the blushed one looks like first i did do a like unboxing with this kit with both of the kits like when they first sent it to me um so maybe some of you have already seen it but i'm going to show you guys here again what this kit looks like and hopefully i can get this video out before cyber monday so you guys can catch the sale and if you guys use my coupon code i believe you get an additional discount code on top of that so go ahead and take advantage of that okay so this is what comes inside of the blush kit you get two sticker sheets you get white snowflakes so pretty and i'm using them on here which the gel polish kit also came with sticker sheets so basically that's what they look like and i just added some like gems on top and then this beautiful rainbow foiled sticker sheet with a lot of holiday spirit themed stickers and then going from this side to this side this is what the colors look like and they're so beautiful they're literally these beautiful nudes and you get a white so basically you can recreate a french tip with these colors if you like or whatever it is you want i mean there's just so much you can do with these colors but they're just so beautiful look at that and then you get your base coat with the kit and then you also get a top coat with the kit and then you get your file and of course you get your beautiful great quality brush which i love you get your brush right here and then you get your little spatula right here if you are getting one of these kits for the first time i highly highly recommend you guys to purchase a uv led light because you will need it in order for you to cure these poly gels and of course mccart has available UV lights that you guys could purchase and this is just one of them which is like one of my favorites uh, you can connect it with a little USB cord I have a lamp here at my table that has a USB cord adapter so that you know like it's like direct there and I can just connect it and no need to like go in and plug anything up or whatever onto the wall so it's super convenient and like I really love it it's tiny portable and easy to store so I really 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 love this little lamp Oh, and then also, sorry before I forget, they also, this kit also comes with some dual forms that look like this. That's what they look like, slightly curved, so they look more natural and it gives you like a little guide here if you want them round or if you want them squared. All right, and here is our snatched poly gel nail kit okay again comes with two sticker nail sheets this one is a gold foil and this one is a silver foil you got the snowflakes, reindeer, Santa Claus, and a sleigh and stuff. I love it. Look at how pretty those are. 
And then going from here to here, this is what the four colors look like. And honestly, this is such a beautiful, beautiful nail kit. Like, here, let me see if I can get you guys a little bit closer perhaps, but like, just look at how gorgeous. This brown shimmery one, kind of like a bronze color, so pretty. I mean, this one's beautiful too. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're all beautiful. This one's a like nice nudish color. And this one's like a, ah, it looks kind of like a deep red on camera, but like in person, it's like a, a plum deep uh, purple plum. I'm not sure if I said, but it's so beautiful, guys. Like these colors are just so gorgeous. And then also comes with a file. Also comes with your little spatula and your brush. A base coat, your top coat, and then your dual forms, just like the ones that the other poly gel kit came with. But today we are not gonna use dual forms, but if you guys would love to use these, um, go ahead and go for it. Okay, so something that I've learned about poly gel is that if they're cold, they're gonna be very stiff and very hard to squeeze out of. So um, I recommend to like put them in a, in a bowl of warm water for a little bit, for like maybe like 10 minutes, it'll soften them up inside and like easier to squeeze out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these inside of a bowl really quick just so like they're easier to squeeze out all right loves so today we're gonna do what's called the lazy girl method and we're gonna do it here on our girl and i named her penelope okay so her name is penelope so our girl penelope um we're gonna give her the lazy girl method and we're gonna obviously use this poly gel kit i'm gonna use these pump up nails ballerina and xxl full cover also by my by my cart and just I'm gonna treat the hand just the same as I would be putting it on a real client okay so first we're gonna want to go ahead and file off the shine from each nail I've tried practicing on her a few times already and not gonna lie it's a little bit hard just because obviously she's not real and it's just a lot easier on a real hand that whose nails are not going to come off so uh bear with me guys but i'm pretty sure practicing on her will make better and easier obviously i'll be getting used to her and whatnot i did notice that pushing these nails because this is like the natural nail right but if i i push in these are the nails that she comes with but like if I push the nail all the way in then I am able to like grab it from back here with my thumb and like do what I have to do without it moving around kind of like that that makes sense I actually like really like this hand for sure for sure so let me go ahead and file off her natural shine Now that I have removed her natural shine, and I just remembered that I could have used my e-file just to make my life a little bit easier. So now I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate the nail just to make sure that all of the natural oils from our nails are really gone. And so that our nails last a lot longer and whatnot. You guys would also want to push back your cuticles and uh, if you want to also just like cut off a little bit of your, your cuticle but that's kind of like a little bit more advanced so if you guys don't know of that or you know you're nervous don't do it just push back your cuticle and then file and then do this which is like to hydrate your nail so now we're gonna go ahead and add our base coat to all of the nails was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm going to take my nails and I am going to size them. And you're going to want to go a size up on each nail because you're going to add poly gel and that's going to create a smaller space for it to go on your nail. So you're going to want to up a size. The reason why I love the lazy girl method is because if you have a hard time shaping your own nail uh, and whatnot and you don't want to deal with you know, making it uneven and all of that. Uh, this The lazy girl method is like so, so easy. It's like basically you apply, put on, and cure, and you're good. You don't have to go in and do shaping and whatnot because this is going to be your nail. Okay, so I have all of my nails. This kit does not come with a slip solution, but you can purchase it on their website. I'm going to use some slip solution that came with another kit. And I'm just going to pour some of it into a dish I have here. And I'm also going to have a few pieces of paper on the side so that I could wipe my brush if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and get my brush nice and wet. And then give it a few little swipes just to have it ready. So for the pointer, I'm going to create like a French. And I'm going to go in with Blended. I'm going to add some here and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it into my slip solution and just this is what I do. I take it and then I just like dab it, tap it on the side just a little bit a few times and then because you don't want, I don't like it like drenching wet just because I don't want like the to, I don't want the nails to be all wet. I just want enough to be on my brush to be able to play with the product and not um, get the slip solution all over the place, if that makes sense. So I'm going to create like an effect. I'm going to like do this so that we could do a French on this nail. And a little reminder, try not to get your fingers on the poly gel because it becomes a very, very sticky solution. Try to get that poly gel onto the sides and then just press up or press down with your brush. If you start feeling like your brush is getting very sticky, go ahead and dip your brush back into the slip solution and go back in. You don't want it to get super sticky because then um, you start getting product all over the place and it starts becoming, like I said, a very sticky situation. So. I am going to go in this way and kind of press this down in like that. I want to create kind of like a V, v shape or like an oval shape. And you can go turn it over and see what you're doing. As we can see, I have it a little bit to the side. So I'm going to go in with my brush and push it a little bit over to the other side. And the cool thing about poly gel is it's not going to settle. It's not going to harden. You have more than plenty of time to play with it and move it around. It's not going to harden on you as, um, see, and that's, that's perfect. Like, uh, what's it called? Acrylic wood. So that's like the awesome thing about poly gel. And we are not going to cure it yet. Okay. I am going to go with this, what is this one called? Highlighter. And I'm going to use this as the top part. Like that. Okay. Oh, you see? Don't get it on yourself or it's going to become sticky. Let me push that back there. Okay. Now just carefully pressing that in like so.
I apologize guys if I go out of frame. And voila. Okay, I'm gonna gently place it onto the pointer finger. I'm gonna get my UV light ready to give it a quick cure. Sorry girl, you gotta bend your fingers back. And then gently apply. And you're going to want to push down. And then give it a quick flash cure. Make sure you don't have your poly gel colors too close to the light while you're doing curing because then you will definitely um, mess up your poly gels or any type of gel colors you guys have. So just a little FYI, be super careful when you guys do that. All right, now look at how gorgeous that came out. It's okay if you get some like here, it's fine. At the end, we're gonna go in with some clear coat and just like make it super shiny and make it all come together. Now we're gonna do, sorry, I gotta bend her fingers back to get them out the way. Now we're gonna do the middle finger. I was at the voice, was at the fire burning in me. All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. So 
this is what I came up with. I tried to do like a candy cane type of nail here. And then I mixed up both of the beautiful glitters. They're French, beautiful bronze. And then incorporated both the like plum bronze color over here. I just wanted to see like get a use of all of the colors at once. So now I'm going to take my file and just kind of go in and clean up the, the edges and like the top and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, so as you guys saw, I did go in with my e-file and then kind of like clean up the cuticle area. One thing about this hand is that I do have to go in at the end and take like a Lysol wipe and wipe off all of the dust. Because since, it's, it, since it is a silicone hand, it gets stuck all over the place and even like my little nail brush doesn't do the thing. Like it just makes things worse. So uh, I did go ahead and clean up the hand and... We are looking ready now to go ahead and place our top coat and any type of gems or stickers that you guys want. So I'm going to take a look at my sticker sheet and see what we have. So since I used both um, gold and silver, I can like pick and choose which one. But I think I am going to stick with these, these right here. So let me grab my little tweezers that I have here to pick up my nail stickers and I'm actually see what I like about clear sheets is that like you could like place them and see if they look you know good on the nail or not so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these silver foiled snowflakes and place them on this gold one right here Here we go. I did the thumb off of camera, but I basically added some snowflakes along the little ridge or like dividing area here. I'm gonna go in with some of these gems by also by McCart that they had sent me uh, a little while ago. And I feel like it has like some awesome colors that I could use to go ahead and set some stones on there. I'm gonna go in with this gummy jelly and I'm gonna set my stones with that. And I'm also going to top coat it while I'm there. And I'm gonna go in with these right here because I feel like they definitely will go with the look. I'm gonna pick up some of this gem jelly and I'm gonna set it. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna set it where I want my gems to be. I'm actually going to So this is what I do. I put the I put the gel where I want it, where I want the stones to go, and then I go in with some top coat and I go in all the way. Even on top of the gem jelly because the gem jelly seems to cure in a like and then it leaves off a sticky residue so I just like put top coat over it and then place the gems
That is so pretty. And then I'm gonna just quickly give it a little quick flash cure. Okay, so here she is all done. Also, do not forget to top coat the bottom of the nails as well and also cap them up here. But this is what they came out looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and set her up for some pictures and I'm gonna show you guys what her nails look like all accessorized. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choir of harmony left me with the pieces of forever that you broke but since you left me alone I've been I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i'm so happy to have made this video for you guys i cannot wait to bring you guys so many more videos with so many more different designs um it is going to take me a little bit to get used to this hand but i'm here for it i'm here all for it uh, i love the way this design came out and i hope that you guys like it too if you guys have any more ideas uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments uh, below i'm always open to everything and anything and like i said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys uh do decide to get this kit or any of mccart's poly gel kits and try it out because of one of my videos go ahead and feel free to tag me on instagram or wherever it is that you guys try it and show me your creations it's really fun and it's not it's not hard guys you, you don't have to be a professional or have a license to do this it's you know practice makes better so the more you practice the better you'll get at it and we'll both get good at it eventually and yeah look at how beautiful it came out it's just so gorgeous and yeah i hope this video was helpful helpful to you guys i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye